Hi, my name is Frank McClintock and um, I'm talking to you from my small Eco Lodge hotel in southern Portugal and uh, it's where we run uh, uh, a week's bird watching with two full days out. Um, we run various various tours but uh, this particular one is two full days out, one to the plains and uh, one to the Sagres Peninsula and Foyer. Um, and uh, it's a single base holiday, so you're staying in our in our eco lodge, um, totally solar run. Um, and I've been here. Well, I started building this about 35 years ago, now um, from the ground up. So, and it's got it's based on this beautiful lake. And um, uh, we've been running it now for 34 years. And I've been a professional birding and photography guide here for the last 30 years. So uh, I do know my way around. Um, and during the week we take two full day trips out, like I said. One to the plains for uh, the uh, steppe species, bustards, uh, great busted, little busted, um, stone curlew, black bellied sand grouse. Um, and of course, all the raptors that are out there, Benelli's eagle, Spanish imperial eagle, short-toed eagle, booted eagle, black wing kite, um, Montague's harrier, um, less kestrel. And uh, it's a 10 hour day, more or less. We leave early in the morning. We're there by uh, sunrise. And uh, we get most of the action in the first four or five hours of the day. Um, we stop for various times during the day for coffee and stuff, so that it's a it's a relaxed day, but it's a safari, and uh, it's just stunning out there. And in the spring, the, the countryside is so beautiful; it takes your breath away. Um, and the other full day we do is uh, down to uh, well, up to Foyer, which is the highest point in southern Portugal. It's uh, nine hundred meters high quite chilly in the morning. Again, we're up there by sunrise. So we watch the sun coming up over southern Portugal. Uh, and we're quite often burning above the clouds there, which is actually quite good fun. Rock bunting, blue rock thrush, um, Iberian green woodpecker, woodlark. Um, sometimes you get uh, rock thrush up there as well, especially on the autumn migration south. Um, and then after that, we stop for a cup of coffee and, um, and then pop down to the coast, down to the Sagres Peninsula, which is Europe's most southwesterly point. And with then we're birding along cliff edge and um, also a little coastal plain. Coastal plain, we get a little busted, um, marsh harrier maybe, um, alpine swift, calandra lark. Um, and uh, obviously rock buntings, rock, um, uh, what am I talking about? Um, trigarão, what's trigarão in English? Oh, Gordon Bennett. Um, corn bunting, sorry. And uh, they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. And um, then we get on the cliffs itself, we get uh, nesting uh, white stalks. Um, and they actually nest on the, on the rock stacks at sea. It's the only place in the world they do that. And uh, peregrine falcon, uh, red-billed chuff, again, blue rock thrush down there, um, black red star. And it's a lovely day. And uh, then we return to the Kinta here again. Um, and it's a single base holiday. So you're not unpacking and repacking and losing stuff and stuff. It's just, it's just one, one, one single base holiday so it's very nice and easy very relaxed good food um, I'm a photographer as well so I take photographs as we're going around and uh, at the end of the week I give those photographs to you for your personal use as a photographic record of your holiday um, we can deal with pretty well any allergy you care to throw at us vegan vegetarian no problems at all um, extensive wine list 
all with an ornithological theme, and you have to come here to find out what that is. Um, and we have various hides. We have a golden oriole hide in the garden here. Uh, the garden's about two acres. Uh, nearest neighbour is over, well over a mile away, and the one after that is another mile away. So no traffic noise, no light pollution. Um, it's a stunning place. As I said, I've lived here very happily for 35 years, and I'm a very lucky person. Um, and so uh, you can relax here. We've got boats. Um, we've got stand-up paddle boards, canoes. Uh, we have uh, my wife, as well as being an excellent cook, she's also a shiatsu masseur, so you can have massage here. Um, we have yoga shala in the, in the garden as well. Um, and we have a hide, in, as I was saying, we have a hide in the garden for the golden orioles. And in July and August, you can, you can see those, uh, you can see 10 of them out in the open at the same time. We have over 30 in the garden. We, we are truly blessed here. Um, rock buntings in the garden, um, Dartford warbler, subalpine warbler, Sardinian warbler, serin. Um, we even had some sparrows move in this year, which is really nice because I haven't seen ordinary house sparrows here for a good 20 years now. Anyway, that's enough from me. Come down, see for yourself. I look forward to welcoming you here. Ciao.